Hello, today we are going to splice a damaged scale bar cable. These can happen over the years through a couple different ways. Um, some of it's mice damage, um, some of it is getting snagged on something, uh, or rubbing up against something that cuts this insulation and then will allow moisture to get inside the actual copper conduit in here, and then that will cause resistance in your line. So we're going to go through and cut out the bad section and repair it together. Um, tools you'll need beforehand, um, solder. This is three quarter inch double sided heat shrink or also called three to one heat shrink and it's got the glue on the inside. You can't really see it now but when you heat this up it will liquefy the glue inside here and create a incredibly moisture water resistant barrier which is what we need. This is one of the most important pieces of the entire splice. You can't splice a cable specifically a scale cable, with just butt connectors. Um, even the, the heat-treated butt connectors that have got the same glue in it, it doesn't do the same. It really needs to be soldered together and then used heat shrink on top of it. We've got um, eighth inch heat shrink to cover each tip, and then we also have an alcohol pad to wipe down the tips when we're done. I currently have my soldering iron here already turned on. Um, I'm using 800 degrees. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to trim back the tips of the ends. So this was the bad section I cut out. Um, we're going to strip this back about an inch. And just break it, pull it. You can do this also with a utility knife. Um, just make sure you don't score too deep so that you don't cut into the actual insulation underneath there. Um, we're going to pull off this foil shielding. And inside here you'll see you have Five different wires, black, green, red, and white. The only ones we really care about splicing, the only ones that actually send signal or power the bars are these colored ones. This is just shield. We do not need to re-solder the shield wire. Actually, that can be trimmed off. And then I'm going to strip back each one of these by about a half an inch. And before we actually solder anything together, it's a very important to put your three-quarter inch piece on ahead of time. So we're just going to slip that on. And so the way we solder these joints here is we take each single color wire, bend these back a little bit. I'm just going to twist them together. And the same thing with any other color wire. And that way we can do all the soldering at the same time. There I have my four cables together. Um, then we're just going to through, go through and we're going to solder tip each end. So it's basically just touching the back side of one and then putting the solder on top of it, letting the solder be pulled through the connector. And then that's really what it is, is we're just tinning each side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our alcohol pad and we're going to remove any moisture um, and any oils that came from our hands off the, uh, the tip so that way it doesn't get trapped in there and uh, cause resistance or failures in the future. Um, and any alcohol will work. Um, if you don't have a pad, you can just use rubbing alcohol. Just use a lint-free cloth. And then I place... Heat shrink on top of each one of them. And then I'm going to apply a heat source. Um, heat source can be anything from a butane torch to a, what we're using today is just a standard um, hardware store one. It doesn't really matter. If you use a uh, butane torch, make sure you don't get the flame too high. You're just trying to warm it up. So, All right, and while it's still warm, I like to press the ends and make sure that it creates another good seal. So from there, we're actually, the scale bar should be good. Um, we should be able to test it to make sure that that was the issue we had. 
Um, and then afterwards what I do is I bend back the two wires like that. I slip over the big three quarter inch on top. And then we're just gonna heat shrink this. All right, so this is a sealed connector. And you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here for a little bit. You can see that glue is starting to creep out a little bit. That's a good sign. That means you got a good solid uh, adhesion inside of here. This cable at this splice here will be stronger than the original. Um, so that's how you repair a scale line. Um, once again, if you can reach the cable and you can see where you can cut out the bad section and you can actually physically solder it back together, you can do it that way. If this was to be cut really close to the front of the scale bar where it creeps underneath the uh, what we call the can, um, most likely you'll end up having to replace the scale bar because there's not enough wiring to do this repair. But thanks guys for watching me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call here at Jane and Manufacturing. Um, love to talk with you and get your system up and running so you guys have one less thing to worry about in harvest. Thanks.